that's a good thing to bring up is like how they actually ingested these metals, these mm. animals, because pollution, when you say the word pollution, it's a politically charged word because it really wasn't in use until Earth Day in the 60s. And it, it has all this baggage when you say the word pollution. But pollution can also just be measurable inputs of metals derived from human activity above natural levels that necessarily aren't having a negative health effect or even really a measurable ecological environmental effect that we can de determine. Uh, all lead in the environment and in our bodies is toxic. But exactly when you get to that level of it making a huge difference is debated. It's pretty low, I would say. The issue with the reason I want to bring up pollution is because when we're thinking about metallurgy contaminating the environment, why are we focused on metallurgy and why is it contaminating the environment? Well, in the environment, heavy metals like lead and mercury and a few other elements, they're not really cycled naturally by biological things, trees, photosynthesis, uh, you know, anything, any of the natural process, chemical weathering of regular silicate rocks, erosion. And so when you see elevated heavy metals, it's because some process preferentially release these heavy metals into the environment. And it turns out metalworking is actually the best way to do that we know about. Outside of extreme volcanic environments, like Volcanic vents, we're not talking about that. We're talking main only like the regular surface of the earth, the regular surface of the ocean. So these heavy metals are preferentially released into the environment above other elements like calcium, sodium, potassium that are naturally weathered, naturally cycled in the environment. So we can actually look at how lead increases relative to natural metals to, to get at that question and just measuring the pollution. The other thing to remember when we're talking about pollution is the conservation of mass. 